Technology that I've introduced to my students have been uh, the tablets that we've been using or the laptops. Other technology that we've been introducing in this classroom have been Learning Ally, uh, software programs that help kids read and understand uh, or have access to the literature at their grade level that they otherwise wouldn't be able to comprehend or understand as fluently. Um, Snap and Read is another uh, technology software that we've been using uh, and co-writer. Mostly we've been using Office 365 though in this classroom uh, to deliver lesson plans and that's been a great way of being able to access all that information and those formative assessments and summative assessments and keeping track of that data online so that we can I can go back and, um, and I can write IEPs or I can I can assess how much they've grown without having a bunch of paperwork. The technology that I've introduced the students to this year include Office 365 and their email accounts. Um, we've used the OneDrive and OneNote in addition to Classroom Notebook and Office Mix. Hi, my name is Percy. Um, Office Mix is a good program. It helped me tell a story at school. Hey guys, my name is Mason. Uh, make sure to use uh, OneNote. It's a good resource. It helps me turn in my assignments to teacher, teachers and make sure to use it. Office 365 has made my life easier because by having the students able to use their email account and accessing their Office 365, um, we can share documents and files and not have to worry about turning in paper documents. Feedback can be given much easier. Um, I've shown them how to create files so that every year they have a, a school year file so that come the end of sixth grade they'll have a new file starting for seventh grade. It will basically allow them to see the progress that they've made in their writing and in their technology skills as they move from sixth grade through to twelfth grade and we call that a digital portfolio. So I just want to give you an introduction to what Mr. Case is talking about with EarthPicker and EarthPicker is a website to help kids formulate or generate questions, uh, leading questions to the desired result that they need to find out where maybe something is and that's what we did with Skype is he introduced EarthPicker kind of showed the kids how to ask those questions so when we got to the Skype piece they had that background knowledge of asking questions to those other schools. So using the Earth Picker we were able to look at different cities around the world and then come up with the common themes in discovering where those locations were. So they were able to look at signs, they were able to look at the people, they were look at the cars and, um, and then try to make inferences and use their background knowledge, activating their schema so that they can know that they already know certain things about the world. And so that was kind of, or that was helpful in helping them understand what are the things that we should show to this other classroom uh, that doesn't give it away right away. And but still will lead them to the answer of we're at Geotrone Middle School. So as Mr. Case starts talking about the Skype process, uh, we both knew that we needed a project-based activity for the kids so they had something to present to the other school. and. Uh, I think Mr. Case and I both know the importance of relationships, the student-teacher relationships, and how important it is that the that, that trust piece. And once the kids know you trust them, they'll, gosh, they'll almost do anything for you. I mean, they 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 work super hard uh, with the kids that we had. We just said, hey, here's a camera, go out and perform, and they did. They did an excellent job, and their PowerPoint was second to none. So using the Skype in my classroom has been a very fun and interesting engagement uh, tool. Uh, it's opened up the world to my students. We were able to Skype with a teacher from Cyprus and uh, in Europe uh, from an island in the Mediterranean and it kind of blew their mind that they were talking to somebody on the complete other side of the globe. It gave them a appreciation for their own hometown. They were able to show pictures of what 
Tacoma looks like and what's special about our community here. Uh, pictures of Mount Rainier, pictures of the Tacoma Dome, the Puget Sound, uh, the Seahawks playing. Uh, and it was fascinating that a uh, lady in Cyprus didn't understand who the Seahawks were. So they had to understand that football is not as big uh, in other places as it is here. So just having a cultural awareness. Skyping with Meeker Middle School was a really fun project. It was, it was fun it, that we were able to facilitate that and that it worked pretty, pretty well. The kids were really engaged throughout the entire process. How to assess the pictures and the, uh, and the questions that we ask to understand where is this other classroom in the world. So use it, prepping them uh, through that process using Earth Picker and then writing down the questions and then, uh, and then listing them out and identifying which ones are the easiest to answer, which ones are the hardest ones to answer, and then having them put that in order of how they're going to deliver that in their PowerPoint slides was really engaging. Um, and beneficial and then when we were able to give them the cameras and last when you took them around and uh, you gave one of our students the Osmo to use uh, I was really impressed with how how well and uh, he did with that and how careful he was uh, that that uh, you came in and you picked him and, and he might not have been the the first person to be picked usually to, to have a, a high-priced uh, valuable item like that but man he really showed he really stepped up and and showed that he was mature enough to, to handle it so that was really impressive so that's one of the things I really like about the technology that we're using and having having you in the classroom is uh, it puts them out of this box it says you know because when they're in their classroom and they're uh, they're struggling in math or struggling in writing or or these other areas you're able to come in with a different kind of of process, a different way of thinking, and it allows them to explore these different modes of learning, these different uh, intellect in, intellect styles. So, our uh, yeah types of learning styles. So um, it, it's it's pretty engaging, even for the kids that you think are really squirrely or can't focus. You give them a you give them a video camera and and, and a mission, and 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 they go for it. So it, that's what I've been most impressed with. So, with the Skype project, the students from both schools created a PowerPoint office mix or video to share with the other school. Each school took turns on guessing where the other might be located. Both schools used their high need students to put the project together, and in the end, each school was able to guess using images and video and the background research knowledge to formulate great questions and answers for their PowerPoint.